Uh, it's time for my review of the Spin Doctor Pro G3 repair stand. I got it for Christmas. Let me tell you what. I love this repair stand. It's awesome. My old repair stand was a very inexpensive model. It was very flimsy. And um, this is a big jump up from that. So if you have a, a cheaper, flimsier one, or you don't have one at all, this guy was about $160 at my local bike shop. And um, it's awesome. So let's talk about some of the features. It's like almost all aluminum. This, uh, this joint down here, is plastic this like clamp on thing not not the c clamp but the pl it grabs onto plastic that grabs onto the pipe so that kind of makes sense and like all oh, this is all this is plastic up here but down here it's it's aluminum and, and this bracket here that holds it all together is really really robust so a couple of the features are aside from it being very sturdy and it's fully collapsible it works a lot like a camera tripod it does have this nifty little storage spot on the side here. Probably can't see it that well. Um, but you can put some hardware in there and stuff. And then you can lock it. <clears throat> so if, uh, if you want, what you can do is you can loosen up this here. And then you can actually spin the bike around to whatever... Um, wherever you want. So if you wanted to adjust your uh, derailleur and you wanted it up a little closer to your face so you can see, uh, get a, you know, a close look at the gears and how they're working out, uh, you can do that. So the vice thing that grabs onto the tube here, they feel like hard plastic. Underneath that, there's a uh, good space here for cables to go through without getting pinched. My other bike stand, if I held the bike by this tube here, it would pinch the cables and you had to kind of like pull them down to get them just right in between the two little things. And they were still so resistant against them. Uh, cause they had like, it had like bigger rubber kind of grippy things on it. Um, but this is nice. So that way you can have the bike in the stand and you can adjust the wires. Most people grab the bike by the seat tube when they work on it, but I think my bike, I guess, is maybe too big for me, or my legs are short, or something like that, because my seat doesn't go that high up. There's not enough room to clamp onto it here, and I got it just right. I don't want to undo my seat every time I work on the bike, so I like clamping it on this tube here. When it's time to take the bike off, I mean, oh, and you got you got plenty of room for the pedals underneath to be pedaling. Time to take the bike off. This is my 2000 Team Fuji. It's a few custom pieces on it. Here is this unit here. All right. The clamps here. These knobs are very nice and comfortable to use. It's real easy to get a good grip on and make a lot of pressure. So this thing here like unscrews and then pulls down, and you can fold this down. Open this up, pull this down. Right. <clears throat> Open this up, pull this up. Now it's ready for storage. And even in storage, if you're like, oh, what did I do with that nut? Man, you can still access this. So if you got a nut in there, for some reason, you put the bike back together and missed the nut, you'd be able to access that. Um, and you can just stash that away in the corner next to your Lego collection. And you're good to go. Well, thanks uh, for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have some constructive criticism, I'd love to hear it. Thank you.